Okay, so we're going to look at question one. Breathing enables gases exchange to occur at the alveoli. Outline how two features, okay, so two features, so you're going to outline two features of the alveoli assist help with the gaseous exchange process. So basically what it's saying is what two good things does the alveoli have which supports with gaseous exchange. As you know, gaseous exchange, gaseous exchange is where oxygen comes uh, into the body and gets diffusers from the alveoli into the bloodstream and to wherever is needed within the body. And then the second part of that process is where carbon dioxide comes from the bloodstream, diffuses into the alveoli and then out of the body. So two key areas here. Firstly, the alveoli has a large surface area which is made up of only one cell. Now, the purpose of that one cell or the benefit of that one cell allows diffusion to occur very, very easy. So the oxygen and carbon dioxide can go from the alveoli into the bloodstream very, very easy. Now, obviously, the larger the surface, then the more oxygen can be diffused into the body. So if we're looking at that as a sporting context, okay, so if you've got a lot of alveoli, you've got a large surface area, more oxygen can get into your body, which you can therefore use. Secondly, okay, we've got lots of capillaries around the alveoli. Now, the purpose of capillaries, or the role of capillaries, or the good thing about capillaries, are they allow the diffusion to occur very, very easy. Reason being, again, the process, the makeup of the capillaries allows that diffusion to occur. Now, I'm just going to show you a picture of the gas exchange taking place, which will support what I'm now speaking about. Now, as you can see here, as you can see, if I just blow that up a little bit, okay, and I highlight a few things. What we've got here, as you can see in the red, the uh, oxygen coming in to the alveoli and then going into the bloodstream. The diffusion occurs at the capillaries, and it's the capillaries and the surface of the capillaries which allows that diffusion to occur. Now, as you can see um, with the, um, the, the, the blue, Okay, that is the blue, that is then basically the carbon dioxide then leaving the body. Okay, so as the um, oxygen comes into the body, it is rich in oxygen from the air, it then gets diffused into the bloodstream and then goes to the working muscles and basically and the vice versa, the carbon dioxide then gets diffused through the capillaries into the alveoli and then leaves out which is um, obviously gas exchange we've looked at. So how I would answer this question, as I've just said there, two key areas, large surface area, one cell allowing diffusion to occur very, very easily, which allows more oxygen to then get diffused into the body. And your second part of that is the role of capillaries. So lots of colours around the alveoli, so large area for gas exchange to take place, okay? Um, other areas you can talk about, uh, large blood supply to ca uh, carry gases, oxygen and carbon dioxide, which is also mentioned in the mark scheme. You can also mention about movement of gas from high concentration to low concentration, meaning there is pressure gradient which allows diffusion to occur. So basically diffusion occurs due to the differences in concentration pressure. Now what I'd like to do, have a little go at the question. Uh, have a look at that, and then once you've um, had a go at it, then obviously have a look at the mark scheme which is provided, and see how you went on. All the best.